welcome back to my youtube channel or if you are new here hi welcome to my youtube channel okay so i've had a lot of like uh questions on my social medias about what art materials i use and and things like that so i am going to show you guys what art materials i use and i have a haul of art materials that i've just bought because i want to start acrylic painting no oil painting my bad so i've just been out and uh, bought a few things for that so i'll show you guys okay so the first um art material that i actually use um i'm going to start off with pencils because i use them a lot i use the faber castell polychromos um pencils and they basically just look like this if my um camera wants to focus at any point in time no anyway it looks like this and they're about one pound 90 each pencil um and i use these a lot uh for um drawings you know like my animal drawings and things um so they're good to build up fur textures if you're drawing animals or if you're drawing people they're good for um skin thing sorry if you can hear like people arguing in the background my sister and my dad feel like it's a great time to argue when i'm trying to film a youtube video so love that for myself anyway um the second art material that i actually use and i use these a lot depends what i want to draw i use these a lot when i draw bugs and things because i don't know they don't really have um you know a texture that's rough so they have a smooth texture so i use these and they are called pro markers and they are winston and newton yeah and they look like this and one end's uh like this and the other end is like this and yeah i use these ones and then i have brush marker but i don't actually know where they are um but i have a ton of these like um pencil pens because pens my bad i'm actually just physically getting all these out so give me like a second here um here we go i have all these all right these are the brush markers um and my boyfriend actually got me these for christmas so thanks to him um i really do love using these they're really good and i just recently used them on um the shark that i do if you follow me on tiktok you'll see the drawing that i did of the shark or here you know i just recently did that drawing of a shark and i have nowhere to put that now i have all these pro markers these are pro markers i actually got these on black friday from hobbycraft um i think for i can't remember how much they were but anyway <laughs> i got these on black friday too uh, so i got uh, these two sets on black friday set one and set two and um all these are just normal pro markers these are not brush markers and then i have this huge box of them too and these can vary in price depends if you buy them separately or together usually i don't know how much they are separately but i think in packs they are about 25 pounds from hobbycraft i don't know you can go on the internet and look they're just called pro markers they're really easy or brush markers brush markers have a bendable tip on one side and these ones have a stiff um thing that's the difference basically okay so i'll move on to the next i'll move on to uh what else do i use oh actually for highlights in the eyes and things i just use a white gel pen like this is just a gel roll like legit it's just a, a gel pen you know so that's all i use for that so we'll move on to paper because i know a lot of people want to know what paper i use okay so just before we move on to the paper i also use carbofello pastel pencils and um, my dad bought me these um for a christmas present i think yeah my dad bought me these and they're just carbofello uh pastel pencils um and you get 36 colors but the thing is with these like you can use them really really like easily like i'll show you they're really hard to open because i don't actually want to drop them <laughs> because they are these are quite expensive just depends where you buy them from and this is the um 36 set so i actually don't know how much they were because i didn't buy them but this is how much i've used of this color and wait where's a full color okay this is a full color because i don't actually use purple much or i haven't used purple at the minute so they actually do wear down really easily and you need a um certain sharpener to sharpen them because i have this electron well it's not electronic because it's 
you know, twisty one. Anyway, I use that and it breaks. So you have to have a um, soft one. So I use these Fiber Castell um, sharpeners and you get like uh, three little sharpener things in it. Um, so these are the best things to use. Just a gentle sharpener, I guess. So yeah. And um, I'll just put them up. And I also have started using this plasma paper, plasma, plasma, pla, pastel, pastel mat, got it, paper. And it is expensive, this, but again, my dad bought it me for Christmas because I asked for it. But um, <laughs> it's really thick paper, as you can see, like it is, it's like really thick paper because it's for pastels and you get sheets in between. That's when you know it's expensive. You get these little sheets in between um so this is really good for using pastel and i'll show you a few drawings from um this what i've used for this pastel matte paper so yeah okay so this is one of the drawings that i have used this pastel matte paper for and this is with the carbofello drawings and um, this is my first attempt so it's not too good but you know whatever so it's just like a fox drawing um but uh thing you have to be careful with with pastel matte uh, pastels or any pastel in general is they smudge so to fix the pastel in place when you have uh, finished the drawing so it doesn't smudge I just use hairspray honestly it's just exactly the same as um, art spray art fixer spray it's just a fixing spray it's just hairspray you know it just it does the same job and it's cheaper so I advise getting um, hairspray because <laughs> it's a lot cheaper so Okay, so the second art book paper that I use is, uh, it's called Ebony and it's just an artist sketchbook um, A4. I also have A3 and A2 in this same art sketchbook brand. Like this is the best one that I've, uh, ah, my eye. This is the best one that I've used so far. So that's why I have so many. And I actually have like, I have three sketchbooks in this drawer that I finished. This is my fourth one. I'm pretty sure I have one somewhere else, but I don't know. And I've got one A, no, three A3 of this brand. that I've, Two that I've finished and one that's new. And then uh, one A2, because I don't actually draw A2 very often. <laughs> so um, yeah, this is good for pro markers, Faber-Castell pencils, paints, as you can see, I've painted on here. Um, this is watercolour paints by the way, that's why I wanted to move on to um, watercolour. I wanted to move on to oil paints because I just want to try something new, you know. Also, I'm very inspired by Bob Ross these days, so I am going to do some of his tutorials and see if I'm any good at this because I really want to know. Sorry, I was trying to find another drawing. This is Fab Castell, this is just a sketch when I didn't have anything to draw. Um, There's a donkey. I'm trying to find my people drawings, I'm pretty sure they're in here somewhere. Huh? Yeah, they are in here. Um, oh, here's one of my animals. This is done with Fab Castell, and you can see the uh, fur textures are really easy to build up with the um colors. Oh, here we go. Uh, here's uh, this dude out of Harry Potter. Um, and I just drew him with Fab Castell pencils. I also use Karen Diage, Karen Diage, however the hell you say that pencil. Um, and they're really good for uh, over top because they have a, they don't fade as much in light. So you can leave the drawing out in a photo frame for like ages and it won't fade as fast as any others. Um, I don't know, you can search that out, but uh, carp uh, no, Karen Diage pencils are pretty expensive. I want to say about £4 a pencil, which is expensive for a pencil considering the Faber-Castell is £1.90. Um, but they're both really good and I only wanted to try them out, that's why I got them. Sorry about that, my mum kind of rang me in the middle of a YouTube video. But, um, okay, so I was saying that I use the white Karen Diage pencil a lot because I put it over the top of um, the colours to blend them in. And um, I'll try and show you if I can find the picture again. Okay, we go. okay, so you can kind of see where I've used the white to blend it out and it also blends the colours really nice. So I definitely use that to go over the top of Faber Castell or, you know, anything really. Um, it's a really good pencil brand to go over. 
I'm also trying to film this video before it goes dark because it's kind of like four o'clock right now so it's kind of going dark so yeah anyway um I use a lot of these um fine liners and I use the Faber Castell uh brand uh pit artist pen I have a lot of these um I don't know where they all are but I can show you a few like like i have all these um i have a lot more but i don't know where they are because i lose art stuff all the time i have mediums i have uh, an sb which is a bendable nib on the uh pit pen i also have a another medium why do i have two mediums i don't know don't ask me i have a b which is a stiff nib but it's like thick you know what i mean and i have small i also have extra small but i kind of used it for summer and broke it don't ask anyway <laughs> so i have a lot of these two and okay i'm gonna move on to the haul now i but i do have a lot more art materials that i do use actually one second for paints watercolor paints i use um Rome, Rome, anyway it's these ones and uh this is watercolor all these are watercolors in here i also use reeves um this brand um so all this is just watercolors so i use watercolors a lot but i'm gonna move be moving on to um uh oils soon so i also have this thing of watercolors my sister kind of made it a bit messy but yeah and this is um a russian brand as you can see it's in russian and and here's in Russian too. Um, it also has it in Eng no no it just has it in Russian. It, it's just Russian. Okay, so these are a Russian brand of watercolors, and I love these. Um, as you can tell me, my sister kind of like them. So, yeah. Um, I don't know how much these are. They're called uh, Sonnet Studio Watercolors. If you want to search it, like, yeah. So these are really good, and I kind of recommend these if you're going to do watercolors because you know. Also. I'm kind of running out of room to put things. I just knocked my camera. Um, I use uh this tape for you know around the outside of your paper so you don't so you can leave a nice border. I use a uh, masking tape and it's just a regular masking tape and it's like this thin and you just put it around the border and then when you peel it off at the end, make sure you peel it off slowly because you can have a chance of ripping it. But um yeah it's really good for leaving like a tidy border if you're doing painting or you are making a background on the paper so yeah okay moving on to the haul i went to hobbycraft and i just like got back you know like 10 minutes ago um and my dad bought me this because i can i couldn't afford it at the minute i have got money coming in from drawings but it's not here yet so <laughs> um so it's just a um one of these things <laughs> that you put the canvas on and you paint so it holds it for you because i was gonna use my paper stand but it's kind of like not the same and i needed one that's standing by itself like a tripod because i want to stand up and paint because i when i sit down i just slouch so i feel like standing up will give me a bit better posture for painting anyway um, I got one of them and I think that was £25 I want to say, who knows, anyway I got some um, new brushes because I do own a lot of brushes but they are mostly watercolour because that's all I paint with and uh, yeah some of them are trashed because my sister uses them and kind of doesn't wash them after herself but um, so I have some more brushes and these ones are for oil paint obviously because that's what i'm going to go into using and i'm going to be inspired by bob ross and use some of his beautiful um tutorials on painting and see if i can paint as good as him probably not that's not it's not gonna happen but yeah. we all know that <laughs> okay so i bought this um graduate uh ro 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 taj go away go away go Anyway, my sister's at the door. What? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, so I have the first brush is this fan brush, and I'm going to be using this for the trees. I'm going to be using this for the trees because this is what Bob Ross uses, so I'm gonna use it, you know. Um, used. <laughs> 
Um, and this is a Ro Ro Roni Roni graduate brush. It's a it's a cheap side of a brush, but I don't want to go too expensive on brushes at the minute because I don't actually know if I'm gonna like it or not. You know, the painting with oils. So I'm gonna try it. You know. And then I bought this graduate 14 brush, and this is quite a big brush because, um, I can't get a big brush like he used like you know the really big one because i'm only using small canvases to start off with so i decided to get this one and this was a more suitable size for the canvas that i'm using so i got this one and this one was um six pound it was five pound 90 and this one was two pound 50 i think yeah anyway oopsie and then i got some of these and these are just hobby crafts own because they didn't really have any others so. <laughs> um and the he uses these for the mountains, so I got this. And this was £2.50. I also got this one because I thought I could use this one for like, you know, the tree stems or something. I don't know. And this one was £2.52. Um, and then I got this big, massive box of oil paints. Um, there is 24 oil paints in here, so hopefully all these will match the paints or some of them will patch the paints that he uses because he uses a very expensive brand and I cannot afford that. So I got these ones and this was £15. I was about to go for ones that were £16 and they were Reeves, but I don't really like Reeves. And then my dad noticed these, so I got these. Yeah. My dog was legit just staring at me. Like, what the hell? This child. Okay, so I got two canvases in case I don't know, I'll go wrong. Ow, I just hit myself on the head, you know? Um... I got two canvases and these are Hobbycraft own and these were £2.50 each so they're not even that expensive so that's good and then my dad bought me this oh this is really loud I'm trying to be quiet and it's this uh, um, uh what do you call it um brush collection in this um little um whatever the hell that is you know it's in a, it's in one of these things okay so it's got like all these brushes in it my dad bought me this and i didn't even see this so yeah because i was looking at separate brushes and then he found this so i was like oh so yeah he bought me this and i can't i don't know how much this was i didn't really see so yeah but i guess if you go on hobbycraft you'll find it and it's just um Romway, Romway, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, it's just you know that. But this has um a collection of brushes in it, and as you can see, it's got all these in it, and they're like uh, multimedia, so I can use them for uh, watercolors, acrylics, and um, oil paint. Because if I don't like oil paint, I'm going to have to use it for summer, you know. So, I can use them. All for multimedia. So, yeah. Um, I think that's it, really. Yeah. Okay, guys. So, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you want a um, video time lapse on um, me painting when I've used the oil paints a bit, uh, just let me know down below and I will try and do that for you guys. And if you want to go follow my TikTok, my TikTok, uh, I'll put it here or here or here or no, I'll put it on the screen. Um, and on my TikTok, I post all my drawings so you can see all the time lapses that I post and things. So, um, yeah. Love you guys. Bye.